this is the best video editing tutorial you'll come across in 2024. If you are a new content creator and you want to learn how to edit videos like a pro, if you are coming across my channel for the first time, I'm Ezebi Joma and I make tutorial videos on long coding tech skills. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to edit videos on CapCut. CapCut is a video editing app. It works on PC, on tablet, and on smartphones. But before I begin, I would appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel. The first thing you will do is to import your video into CapCut app. To do this, open your CapCut app. Click on the plus sign. Select the video you want to edit and click on add to import the video into CapCut. The next thing you will do is to choose a video size. To do this, click on aspect ratio and select the size you want your video to appear. Aspect ratio is simply the ratio of the width of, of an image or video to its height. We use 16.9 for YouTube videos and we use 9.16 for YouTube shorts, TikTok videos, and also Facebook and then Instagram reels and shorts. Next, you can duplicate your video clip if you want to. To do that, just click on the clip you want to duplicate. Scroll down the toolbar until you get to duplicate. Click on the duplicate and your video clip is successfully duplicated. Trimming and splitting video clips. There are times when we will be shooting a video and make a mistake. That does not mean we should discard the whole video and start from the beginning. No. When that happens, just correct yourself and continue shooting your video. During editing, you just trim off those places that you don't want from your video. To do this, there are two ways that you can achieve it. If the mistake appears at the beginning or end of your video, what you will do is just highlight your video by clicking it. Then hold that white end and drag it. It will remove that unwanted part. Or you can as well place the timeline bar. That line, place that timeline bar between the place you want to trim off and the one you want to keep. Then click on split. It will split the video into two. Then highlight the one you want to delete and just delete it. But then if you notice, maybe you made mistake during that process. Go to that, that thing that looks like a, a curved arrow. The one, the one on the left is for undo. But the one on the right is to redo. Undo is when you mistakenly maybe deleted something that you need to keep in your video. You have to go to that curved arrow and click on do to restore the command. Then you can also click redo as the case may be. Next, adding transition and animation to our videos. Videos without transition animations are somehow dull and no one wants to watch a dull video. Transition is used to tell your viewer the end of a section and the beginning of another. And it also makes our video more enjoyable to watch. To add transition to our videos, just click on that white part between the two video clips. Select the transition you want to use on your video. Adjust the timing. Click on apply to all. And then on that good sign there, the transition will be applied to your video. You can use the animation at the beginning of the video. Animation is used for a single clip, an image or test. To do that, click on the test or the clip you want to apply the animation to. Then click on animation. Select the one you want to apply to the video. Also adjust the timing and then tick, click on that good sign there. And you are good to go. Next, adding audio effects. You can, you can add sound effects to a video 
like those uh, clapping and the uh, keyboard and even gunshots that we hear in videos. You can add it through audio effects. To do that, place the timeline bar where you want the sound effects to appear. Click on audio and on sound effects. Browse through those sound effects and select the one you want to use. Mm -hmm. Click on the plus sign beside the one you've chosen to add it to your video. The next one, reduce noise. To reduce noise on CapCut, click on the video clip that you want to reduce the noise on. Scroll down the tool until you get to reduce noise. Click on it, toggle it on, and then click on that good there. But if this reduce noise is not enough, maybe the video is too noisy and it's not enough, that means you need to apply voice enhancement. And to do that, you need to watch this, my previous video on how to reduce noise on cap cuts. Adding captions to your videos. To add caption to your video, Click on test, then on add test. Type in your test. When you've done that, change the font. From here. Then click on style to change the style, the color, and the size of your test. You can also change the effects. Just explore the whole thing there. When you are done editing your test, click on that good sign for it to apply. When you have done that, if you are using mobile phone, just use your hand to drag the test to the position where you, where you want it to appear on your screen. But if you are using a, a laptop, use your mouse to drag it to the position you want it to appear on your, on your screen. This is the end of today's tutorial. In my next video, I'll talk about how to apply zoom effects on videos and the other video editing skills on CapCut. I will talk about them in my subsequent videos. So if, you, if this video is of any value to you or you enjoy watching it, please support the channel by clicking the like button, subscribing to my channel, and turning on your post notification bell. Thank you guys for watching.